Okay, hey guys, Dr. Pizmongraft here. This video, I am doing a uh, airship review. Um, sorry, I'm talking a bit quiet, quieter because I'm not home alone for once when I'm recording. So, um, yeah. I am here with a soldier, and uh, we are not reviewing this again pretty sure I did a review of that. This is the Columbia, in case you didn't know. But today we are reviewing this, my latest design, and basically the predecessor to the Columbia. Anyway, so this is called the Excelsior class. Uh, this specific one is called the Excelsior, because that's how I always name my ships. Um, Yeah, so uh, as you can see at a first glance is that this has no AA guns. And that's because this isn't really designed to go up against fighters. That's what a where a Columbia would come in or some other ship with heavy amounts of AA on the broadside. Uh, as you can also notice, there is a nose gun. There's a Columbia gun as well. I actually took the front turret off the Columbia, put it on here. It's got a full inside, as turrets now need to be accessed so that you can adjust the timing mechanism and so that you can adjust the amount of propellant in the cannons. You can also adjust this timing mechanism, which is pretty useless. I mean, unless a fighter's like right next to you. <laughs> as you can also see, uh, it has quite a lot of iron cannons. Uh, that's what I call these. Uh, it's got a triple gun, triple gun turret there. It's got quite a lot of dual guns, dual gun turrets. It's got a couple of triple gun turrets on the bottom, and yeah, that's pretty much the outside. Another design is the three. Uh, whatever way, vertical fins. Uh, usually if there's two on each side, there's two on the bottom as well, but this design is only one. And that's just to save weight, basically. And it also looks cool. <laughs> okay, so we go up here into the bridge, and as you can see, there's the cruise sign. I uh, haven't put in the um, remote sign for that turret there. Uh, I'll do that at some point though. So here we have that helm sign, and I'll talk about that in a bit. But first, um, we are going to go down into here, and we go directly into the fire control room, which ha this is the main battery, that's the nose gun, and if we go front uh, over here, this is one of the Bo belly turrets, bottom turrets, whatever. Uh, yeah, you can just, you know, get in here from there. Eh. Ah, come on. Ah. Work with me. Okay, I guess I need to get rid of that block then. No. There we go. It's a little difficult to get out. Uh, here we have the captain's quarters. As you can see, it's basically just a closet. <laughs> just like real life. Well, in World War II anyway. So here we have the other belly gun. Which of course is also... I don't know what I did at that time. Uh, we have crew quarters here and here. We also have more crew quarters here and here. And that is for... Um, so that you have enough crew members so that you can operate all the turrets and stuff. We have a briefing room because this is basically by default in my ships. The galley, well, this is actually the mess hall technically. This is the galley. And then over here we have engineering and the main storage compartment. And yeah, that's pretty much the inside of the ship. So it has a bland inside, no windows really, 
Uh, and that's because of a new armor design that I used. Uh, I'll put up a picture of it here. So that was the Type 0 armor, as I like to call it, uh, mainly because of the pattern on the armor itself. Um, anyway, so as you can see, there's buttons here to control the dual shot cannons that are directly beneath the overhangs here. There's also these lights that you can turn on and off, and that's for like, you know, silent running, whatever. And then this controls the front turret and the front nose gun. Now just to note, the front nose gun is actually a scatter shot. So it's not a dual shot, it's a scatter shot. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the ship. Um, yeah, so the reason why there is a... So the reason why there's a Columbia there is, um, well, we are going to test this ship against the Columbia. So as you can see, the size is 15,782 blocks. I just remembered that... Um, there, that should do it. <laughs> he turned the oh wow well. come on there you go oh, I seem to have missed his bridge Ooh. Well, that just kind of hit pretty useless I'm just gonna go there. Go there. Fire again. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, so as you can see, the armor is taking quite the beating. Oh boy. Ah, crap. Well now, would you look at that. Okay, now to talk about the warp ship craft sign. Just, uh. Oops, cruise. Off. Okay. So basically, what the uh, warp ship is, is, well, I'll show you. As long as we don't get obstructed. There we go. I would like you to please hurry up and generate that sign. Come on. Off. Ah, crap. That always happens. Alrighty. What's the damage assessment? Uh, first layer of armor on the bridge was taken out. Controls of the bridge are gone. Eh, we seem in pretty good shape, I have to say. 
So what you just saw there was a warp jump. Or a jump. <laughs> So basically what that um, is, is uh, well, a warp ship. It's a new craft file that I created. And uh, basically if you get into a bit of a tough situation, you can just, well, repilot your ship as a warp ship. As long as you have 20% of your wool still, you're fine. <laughs> Basically, it's just that you can get out of a situation. And, uh, yeah. So, whenever you cruise as a warp ship... Oh, I, the cruise sign survived. <laughs> oh, so did this. I didn't need to put those signs there. Yeah, so, that's the power of the jump drive. Uh, as you can see, he managed to get through the top layer of armor here, which isn't too difficult, I have to say. Eh, I think the ship... yeah, it's pretty repairable, actually. Here, I'll turn my shaders off so that you guys can see. I think it's good. Just, uh, fill up this hole here. Uh, fix that up there. Uh, rewire everything. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're good. No. No soldier. Don't. Showing them how it works. Yeah, so, just in case you wanted to see how far we went, we were over here. That's where we were. So there's the Columbia there that we left. That's just a mini map thing. So that this was the second this was the first jump that we made and now we are here. Yeah, so that is pretty much the Excelsior class. Um just in case you're wondering, the uh jump drive is possible because of Let me release it. So basically the way uh, one of these is designed is uh, a jump ship requires a, I think, 0.05% diamond, if I'm not mistaken. And 25% uh, wool. Now, of course, this is extremely expensive and, you know, wouldn't exactly be available to beginners on the server. Yeah, so, um, of course, if you wanted to buy the Excelsior class, but you didn't have the money for the jump drive, because, you know... That's um pretty expensive. It's literally just a solid cube of diamond. There's also a dam diamond in the center here. Uh there. I don't know if we'll have space on this server ever, but who knows, maybe. Yeah, so that's pretty much the Excelsior class uh heavy cruiser or medium cruiser, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he's just figuring out the ship's biggest weakness. Uh, yeah, so again, that was the Excelsior class cruiser, uh, medium cruiser, heavy cruiser. Eh. Um, link will be down in the description to download the schematic for this on the Planet Minecraft page. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!